Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. It is an Atomic Shop review. I don't get to do this each and every single week anymore. I do try my best, but sometimes I have to work late night on Tuesdays thanks to my job. And yeah, kind of ruins my life, but <laughs> never mind. We're here again with an Atomic Shop review. If you want to see more of these, I probably can squeeze them in. It's stressful, but if enough people watch them, enough people enjoy them, it'll kind of entice me to just deal with the stress so hit that like button if you want to see me doing these each and every single week the more likes the more views the more everything i'll know that you guys want to see these each week and i'll just have to tell work unlucky i'm going home on my break and i'll have to work a longer shift and just take the time out to do them so yeah hit the like button and let's have a look at this week's atomic shop review i had a little glimpse um but let's have a browse so we've got new bundles but are they new stuff that is the question ladies and gentlemen we have Shelter in Place Bundle, the Hand to Hand Bundle, the High Tech Armaments Bundle, all of which are weird prices because I must own certain items. So let's have a look. The actual full price is 2500 and it includes one, two, three, four, five shelters. It's got the Vault Atrium Shelter, the Nucleus uh, Missile Silo, Vault Quarter Shelter, Vault Server Room Shelter, and the Vault Lobby Shelter. Now, which ones do I actually use? I don't use the, uh, oh my god, I can't remember the name. Which, the, which one? That's the Atrium, I believe. I can't remember all the names now, is it? What do I have? Vault Server Room, Vault Lobby, oh my god. You know what, I've been that. That's obviously the Missile Silo. That's a great picture telling you exactly which one that one is. Um, but never mind. But yeah, how many of you guys actually build in shelters? That's the main thing. I actually do have shelters set up. I don't build them anymore, but I do have like a pathway going through all my shelters. I do enjoy them to be fair, that's the thing, but I just, I don't know, once I've got them in place and I enjoy what I've done with them, I just leave them there and I enjoy this little walkthrough. But a lot of people complain that not many people actually visit them, so they feel like it's a waste of time building in them. But it's a perfect place to actually like utilize some of them camp building items that you can't use at your camp. So I actually quite like the idea of them. Um, we also have the hand to hand bundle, including the gilded pin for the pickaxe, gold combat dagger, combat knife skin, the Greylock sorcerer staff, the independent sword, grinder chainsaw paint, burning torch, super sledge, metal claws, death claw gauntlet, the service award axe paint. Which one's that one? Uh, survival fire axe and the halberd war glaive skin as well. Oh my god, is that that? When did that come in? When did that come? No, that's a pickaxe. I, th I thought he's holding it like that. I'm thinking bloody hell. That's that's the bloody pickaxe. That must be the. Where is the pickaxe? Pickaxe, pickaxe. That's the gilded pin for the pickaxe. I thought that he was holding it like a bloody war glove. Not war glove. A bloody. Yeah, gauntlet. Never mind. Um, we've got the war glove skin there. Fire axe. That must be the first fire axe skin I was talking about. Um, but I didn't know what that independent sword. Independent sword is that one? Yeah. That looks more like red rocket. Who knows? Service Award Axe, that must be that one, and that one's the Fire Axe. Uh, to me, nothing too crazy. It's 1,200 atoms, that's the Death Claw going on right there. Uh, there's the Burning Torch, which is actually a really cool one. I do like that one. I like what people's done with them in the past. Like, you really in favor when you used to do his machinimas. That was really cool when you'd see the people walking through with them. Um, but yeah, not a real bundle that I want to buy. High Tech Armaments Bundle is 1,500, including the Battle Scar Pain for the Gatling Plasma, Mine Pain for the Laser Gatling, Industrial Plasma p uh, Caster Paint, Armor 8 Gatling Plasma, Copperhead Gatling Plasma. How many Gatling Plasma skins do you need? Patriotic Paint for the Gatling Plasma, Valorious Alistair Paint for the Gatling Plasma, Tricentennial Laser Gun, Voltec Laser Gun, and the Amateur's Inventor's Laser Gun Paint. Like, why? You can only use one skin at a time, so unless you're using multiple Gatling Plasmas, which I don't think that many people really use them anymore, given the fact they just kind of got wiped from the game's existence when uh, Legacies got removed, not many people really use them that much i never see anyone use them to be fair same as laser guns never see anyone use them either but i don't know might be for you you can buy a bunch of stuff as well down the bottom you've got the heavy ordnance bundle as well for the vault tech machine gun paint nuka cola uh, nuka twist sorry uh, minigun chrome paint for the minigun clandestine service gauss minigun paint free states gauss minigun paint black knight gatling gun armor ace hellstorm missile launcher gold 50 cal Lucille's Lullaby, The Stinger, Tickled Paint, Gauss Minigun as well. So another bunch 
of heavy guns there. Um, but yeah, that one's 1500 and another one, which I'm just not interested in. I'm not really interested in any of these bundles, to be fair, personally. You can buy a bunch of other stuff. The Guild uh, Headquarters Bundle. Um, this includes Stairwell Posts, Open and Close Sign, Guild of Antiquities Blue Floor and Foundations, Guild of Antiquities Star Floor and Foundations, Black Rubber Mat, Guild of Antiquities White Floor and Foundations, and the Washer and Dryer Set as well. Floor Walker Bundle Returns. Uh, for 1,050 atoms with the Floorwalker eye patch outfit, the Stinger, the Floorwalker backpack, and the Floorwalker bandana as well. Uh, you can get the Verdi Guard power armor set, the Rockabilly outfit for 420, and the Beehive. I've also got the stuff that came in last week. I did do a review oh, of all of this stuff, so make sure you check that out on the channel if you missed it. Um, all around, it was a pretty okay bundle. Nothing too crazy, nothing too mad. This red rocker dumpster there does collect plastic items, which you can scrap for plastic. And you've got a cool light em up here as well, which does look really cool. Uh, but like I said, there's not many people use Gatlin Plasma, realistically. Greatest Hits bundle, we got the Sawtooth bundle. That's pretty cool. 1,800, that includes all the stuff on screen. As you can see there, the prefab, the chair and stuff, flag, and that really, really cool outfit. Uh, you've also got the candle making bundle, including the Veggie Man player icon, large candle rack, fashion art veggie mask, the candle house, small candle rack, the nodding donkey, hung candle rack, and the fashion art rail splitter outfit. You've also got the flag waving bundle, which includes the US flag pose, the light mop paint for the Gatling plasma, the stars and stripes photo mode frame, light mop power armor station, um, Ameri American Patriot power armor paint set, Eagle Balloon tricentennial Tesla rifle as well and a bunch of other bundles Jesus Christ the Blue Ridge Outpost bundle with the Outpost kit the caravan wallpaper locker door Lord and Bay Floor and Foundations Blue Ridge caravan neon sign Blue Ridge vendor bot that is going to be a total of 1800 atoms no discount on that camp resource bundle including the beer mystery machine Voltec fusion core recharger thrasher field sta uh, dressing station nuka cola cryo freezer this stuff's relatively new as well so that hasn't been actually out for that long we have the oh my god this one isn't even discounted that's 1800 the hunter trophies poster the hunter safety vest hunter's lodge stone fireplace tax a dermied beer stein display as well there you go what do i get for 400 hunter safety vests i think i'm okay Hunter's Rest for 1,500 with the Rustic Fur Bed, Taxidermy, Tinker's Workbench, Timber, Carpet Floor and Foundations, Hunter's Safety Paint on the Hunt Photo Mode Frame, Hunter's Throne Chair as well, and the Thirst Quenchings. A whole bunch of stuff in here. I have a lot of Nuka Cola stuff as well. Going on the next page is a special page where you can get the Varsity Jacket for free this week. Uh, you can also get the Dr. Zorbo pose today as well in the Atomic Shop for the 24 hour item. And the 24 hour consumable is the Free Scouts banner. For Fallout First, you can get the Corvega Camp bundle, which includes the Corvega laser turret, shotgun turret, machine gun turret, generators medium small, the Corvega, Corvega water purifier small, Corvega missile launcher, heavy gun turret, heavy laser turret, and the water purifier industrial lock if you want to spice up your turrets and stuff like that i suppose and you can still get the voltex survival tent as well and then we have a bunch of mothman stuff that's been for a couple of weeks now which is your last chance to get it but there you go guys that is the atomic shop for this week like i said if you did enjoy hit the like button make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think about the atomic shop this week for me there's not really anything that i want to pick up this week surprisingly so yeah never mind let me know what you think though down in the comments for now that is it for the video hope you enjoyed i will catch you in the next one Bye-bye.